expectations and score an upset after that off as we get the tip and Lynn will control it. Antoine Jax takes it up the court. Starting point guard last Tuesday in Ellison. And we'll certainly see Makai Ellison in today. High hopes for him for this program. A 27 and a half point scorer from a season ago. Jamie Phillips Jr. Net. Like I, we mentioned in the open, 98.5%. Essentially all of their scoring production from a year ago is gone. This is a new look squad with a new head coach. Uh, Bill Morosco in his first averaged about three and a half points per game with uh, Oakland last season, made nine starts. And Jordan Wood picks up where he left off. That really is the equalizer, especially in the college basketball game. If you can shoot from three, you got a chance against everybody. And that's what I really liked about Jordan Wood in the first game, in the paint. Both side price will bounce it out. Just strong for Antoine Jacks. Right down the court, a strong start for Leo B. Way strong, and Jordan Wood will push the pace. Bounces out to Trayton Thompson. We get a blocking foul on big things out of Tristan Gross this year. A three, almost four-star recruit coming out of St. Petersburg, Florida. He's a great shooter. His shot, in my opinion, is a little bit funky, but it works. Jordan Wood gets to steal, takes it coast to coast, just lays it in. And who was heart and soul of the program? They lost Jalen Blackman, obviously the guy that they could check, they could count on. I find interesting about Lynn so far. They started off in that soft full court pressure, man to man. And it seems once a little bit slower pace, that way when they're hitting those threes, it's an even bigger effect. And it looks like Lynn is speeding them up and Lynn is getting out. Overshoots the seven footer. And a lot of that's chemistry as well. You know, these guys spend countless. Up a common theme for this team early on, while they're coalescing and figuring out each other's tendencies and who has what role. Alex Doyle, <laughs> just left brain, right brain, working together. Lynn with another three. I think that was part of their game plan to really knock them off their knock them off their game early as they're able to capitalize it. Beast will take it down the court. And he'll pull the trigger, a little heat check, in and out. Star free throw shooters were falling off towards the end of last season for Stetson. Beast pulls the trigger again. Absolutely. He's only one for one for four from the three early on, but perfect from two point range so far. Hopper. Drives the court, takes it himself, and is able to lay it in. You got to think he's going to have every opportunity to lock that up. They brought him in to, to be the point. Replace him in the facilitation of the offense is going to be a key to Stetson's success this season. Alex Doyle for giving them the edge so far. Makai Ellison with a nice athletic save. Jordan Wood from the corner. This is everything. Leo Beath, he wanted to take the shot. Looking to get somebody off their feet, probably draw a foul. The country of Italy. So, somebody with a lot of experience playing at a high level. There goes Beath again this year, all ACC player, and Hunter Salas. That was a guard that he was seeing every day in practice, and he figures to be, again, one of the top players in the ACC. So he... But back to it, the caliber of Donnie Jones, the respect he has around the college basketball world. That's how he's able to get in this talent. Like, Aubrey able to secure the rebound down low. Once again, Lynn has changed their defense to a 2-3 from the 1-3-1. One, one. Looks and like Jamie stopped his hand a little bit. Gets the rebound to make up for it, though. See that big body of Jamie Phillips Jr. just barrels through the paint. And Lewis. And to help fill in that gap, I think Coach Donnie Jones is going to be looking for guys like Trayton Thompson and Tristan Gross to continue to take a step further or play some of the scoring. The assist record to prove it. Makai Ellison has the ability to make nice passes. Jordan Wood, fatal flaw so far, one from 10 from three point, two for 11 now. But we've seen now when Stetson's hitting those threes, they're allowing him to score on multiple levels. I think he's going to be a really, really good player for the Hatters this season. Lynn able to get inside, come out of the timeout. Yeah, I think that's a large reason why Stetson is struggling offensively, and you're seeing them turn the ball over so much. You make adjustments for one. 
I think that's the experience. He has probably the most minutes of some of these new guys at the Division One level, and these all these changes in defenses I think are going to affect him less than most of the rest of the team. Kai Ellison able to finish off the nice defense. This Stetson team could be a really interesting wrinkle for him this year. I mean, Jamie Phillips himself, a 6'5 guard from all different points of the arc. We've already seen him hit from each corner, one from the wing. That's just kind of died on the rim and just rolled right in. And then Jordan Wood obviously showing the right way to make a three, which is near collision at the announcer station. Points here early, late in the, in the first half. A little bit. Alex Doyle throws his hat into the ring. Jordan Wood grabs the offensive rebound. He'll take it in. Just nice touch off the glass, able to double clutch and good movement around the arc. Jordan Wood not afraid to go either side. Jamie Phillips Jr. is in the offseason, spent a lot of time in the gym trying to get ready for his first season as a college player. Possession. Tristan Gross finds Jamie Phillips Jr. and he puts it home. The heave is a no go, but Jordan Wood, of course, and Alex Doyle. Jordan Wood will take it to the rack. He gets the shooter's roll. There. He's not going to be denied his shot. Leo Beath really wants to put somebody on a poster here in this gym tonight. Alex Doyle pulls up from three. Jamie Phillips with a nice save there to give the Hatters a second opportunity. Who else but Jordan Wood off the glass? That is the second or third three we have seen from Lynn that has gone very awry. <laughs> Foul's going to be called on Hatter lineup. Yeah, he, and again with his rebounding ability, he's going to be able to rip and run a lot, which is exactly what happened on that last defense. Kai Ellison with a ISO approach there, able to find a shot. Very few in possession. Leo Beef will take it for the night. Finds his man behind the arc. Osai Price will get a hand in there, given the. Alex Doyle will play a lot of center here, and I think that's the matchup with Beef better. Uh, both of Stetson's seven footers don't have the foot speed to keep up with him, and I think Alex Doyle has game necessarily. To go out west and see what he can do. Leo Beef in there. All two. Bill Not Morosco, the head man for the Knights, has to be happy with what he's seen so far. A really impressive Jamie Phillips Jr. He knew exactly where he was going on that play. Just an impressive effort there to get the off. Jamie Phillips Jr. Makai Ellison will pull the trigger. 32%. Ellison, when he's that wide open, is Jordan Boyd. Doesn't matter what level you're at, if you're scoring nearly 30 points, Beath works it. Jamie Phillips Jr. works inside. That's his second or third and one opportunity now. Got a wide open man rolling to the basket. Slid from the corner and remember that rim protection I was asking for at the start of the game? They found it. Inside game for contact and trips to the line. Since that ball will go off the top of the back of the thing, especially on the effort end. As we see a hustle play there. Bodies flying everywhere. Leo Beef will take it in, but Josh Massey will clean up the miss. Gives a little, gives a little shush on his way back down. His defensive efforts getting rewarded with offensive on the offensive end as well. Makai Ellison looking to stay hot. Take it in himself. Gets the roll. I also wonder how much the Hatter's defensive effort has affected him. He's still scoring, but it's a lot less efficient than it was in the first half. And sometimes with elite scores, except for the foul call. And it, it, it seemed inevitable that he would cool off, but a heroic effort by him so far to have that. Almost had a uh, 
multiple bounce off the rim three go in. Had a couple with the shooter's bounce in the first half. So the Hatter lead is cut under a dozen. Carson Smith. Will Jamie Phillips Jr. takes the dribble and just finds a shot. And the highlight reel level of a of a dunk. Just catches the arm there. Can't think he gives you on offense makes it hard to take him off the court with how well he's played defensively and so that, far. That prototypical build that he has makes him an elite defender as Josh Allen stops on his college career, still has him on NBA draft boards. Lynn begging for a foul down low. Massey, a nice recovery. Looked like an errant pass. But Makai Ellison will sidestep. He pops. Gets it to go. Kiefer sets an offense. They don't have a Jalen Blackman that can go one-on-one -on -one and get you a bucket when you need it. Frustrated the Knights and throwing them off their game a little bit as Makai Ellison will pull up from three. The big frame. A lot of raw power there. See him put the shoulder down, work his way in. Shot doesn't go that time. Get the ball back their way. Looks like Austin Dick's going to be OK. Strong defense from Jamie Phillips Jr. there. Three-point shot failing for the Knights. This would be a much closer contest, although still not a runaway by any means. A lot of hard to overstate the impact he's had on this game. 26 points. Thank you, must have heard me being critical. Rebounding, his athleticism are all there. If he can get the shots to go, he's got a bright future. Made a nice move there to slip around the smaller defender on the ball. Push the tempo. Dumps it off to Jamie Phillips Jr. Jamie Phillips Jr. inching his way. I'll say Price will take it in. Carson Smith pops from three. Strong rebound. Really impressive defense there from Makai Ellison. It led to a three, but as you said, that match on defense. We'll put Stetson at six. So he'll get the pair. Makes the most of his one and one. Makai Ellison hampered a little bit of their offensive production. I think part of that's also depth. I've seen that Lynn's really rolling with the same six or seven guys. Stetson. A lot of contact there on that play. It looked like Wood got ahead to the back of the neck and cleared out of the paint. Certainly showing Donnie Jones was right to get them as newcomers, all three new faces to the Hatters. And if they all keep performing this well, they're going to become fan favorites quickly. The bench, he's always one of the first ones, most excited whenever a shot goes in. Carson Smith trying to will his team. Jose Price gets his highlight moment. What you're talking about further shows the commitment Donnie Jones has secured. A gym that desperately needed it too. The Edmond Center celebrated its 50th season last year. Finley Sheridan able to Give the finger roll a try and get it to go. Back of a coach's mind. Smart pass there from Antoine Jacks. Austin Dick able to finish it off. Here both teams getting some work. The Hatters might be content to let the clock run. Get one shot off at the end of the shot clock. Ty Ellison pushed them to 98. Half will come away with a 98 to 83 victory over the Lynn Knights and ultimately come away with a victory before they start their season next week against New College of Florida.